Hello again my friends, this is Christian for Life Force Microscopy. I'm back at the park where I found a few dead trees, especially this one over here, which I already posted on my on one of my last uh, videos. So this is sort of a follow-up of that video, but this time I brought with me some electronic devices because I needed to do a little bit more research to see what's going on here. So I have a geo magnetometer which I'm using right now. A geomagnetometer is a device used to measure the intensity of the Earth's magnetic field. This device measures anywhere from 2 all the way up to 2000 milligauss which is the measuring unit that we're using uh, here let me see if I can focus a little bit more there we go so we're getting a reading of 600 milligauss approximately and this reading goes up and down it doesn't stay the same so from my experience doing geopathic stress assessments in houses apartments for example I usually find when using my geomagnetometer readings that go that usually go as low as 250 or 350 milligauss which is pretty low on a scale of 2 all the way up to 2000 milligauss 500 is the ideal uh, reading to find to be able to say that we have a level of magnetism which is better for humans for example so 500 is like a green healthy zone below 400 will have a tendency to feel kind of tired for example if we are living in that environment we'll feel like uh, tired and low on energy all the time With a level of 500, we'll find the optimum level of comfort as far as healthy living is concerned. In this case, again, we're getting a reading of 600, 602, basically and anywhere above 500 all the way up to 600 I would say that it is still within that healthy green zone range which is good for 
uh, humans to find good health and actually to recover from disease or illness above 600 something like uh, 650 700 and above the level of magnetism is so high that it wouldn't be a good idea to remain in that zone for too long as for example having uh, a bedroom or something with a level of 700 or more it's way much uh, way too much magnetism which is not a good thing so levels magnetic or magnetism levels above 650 milligauss approximately and above something like uh, 800 900 1000 and even more are not areas that we should be sleeping in with a very high level of magnetism I mean we should use that area for example as a meditation room or maybe a gym something like that but not really for having a bedroom in that kind of a environment because again too much magnetism is a bad thing we have to be very careful so what is going on with this dead tree now a level of 600 milligauss in my opinion is not high enough as to have killed this tree so we have to find a different kind of a geopathy sometimes when we have very low levels of magnetism or very high levels of magnetism these factors can actually get trees in a very bad condition so they get sick and die but in this case I don't think this is related to low levels of magnetism or very high levels of magnetism We'll continue doing some research around this tree to see if we can find the real cause of uh, this tree having died. So as you can see the reading uh, pretty much stays at 602 milligauss which is like I said uh, fairly high but not high enough as to cause real harm to a tree or even a human being people so let's say that in this in this very same spot where this tree is located let's say that we had a bedroom a room so sleeping over an area of fairly high magnetism like um, we're seeing here 602 milligauss shouldn't be that bad 
in my opinion. So, again, I don't think magnetism in this case should be a problem. So, we're going to have a look at a different kind of a device that I have over here, which is a digital Geiger counter to see if we can find high levels of radiation. We'll have a look. Hello again, this is Christian for Life Force Microscopy. So, we are doing some research in the uh, proximity or vicinity of a dead tree and we're trying to find possible causes for this tree having died. I've already talked about levels of magnetism and uh, I was saying that I'm using a geomagnetometer which measures the Earth's magnetic field on a scale of 2 to 2000 milligauss which is the measuring unit that we're using. So we have the magnetometer over here and it is measuring 602 milligauss. To the left of it we have a digital Geiger counter which measures radiation radioactivity so in the case of the uh, digital Geiger counter what it does it takes a 60 second reading and whatever number we find let's say 10 12 20 30 that is that number is considered to be the background radiation measured in counts per minute so I usually find measurements of let's say 20, 22 tops. Let's see if we can focus on that device for a bit. Okay, so we got 14, 18. 18. So that's what we usually find when we measure background radiation. Of course, if I'm using this device over here and all of a sudden I find readings of uh, 50, 100, yeah, so we would be in the presence of radioactive material around here so that would tell us that maybe one of the causes for this tree having died was uh, let's say 
maybe high levels of radiation due to radioactive material in the soil for example which I don't think this is the case because to be honest the reading the readings are very low so far so we'll continue doing some more research maybe using some other devices and see what's going on Okay, so we're going to use one more device. This little device over here, it's called a Trifield Natural EM meter. It measures just about everything magnetic fields electrical fields microwaves just about anything you can think of I had it or I have it set up on magnetic measurement and as you can see the reading is basically zero the needle is all the way down to zero so again I don't think there is a magnetic anomaly or disturbance that could actually have caused this tree having died this is the device The reading is very low. Very interesting. So we'll continue doing some research. I'm going to follow up this very closely until we find a possible cause of uh, this phenomenon going on around here. 